So, we will start firstly discussing these method uh, to the depth starting with non disguise non structured methods. Some of the popular method as I told you in this categories are the depth interviews. This is very commonly used technique in order to see the attitude of an individual. Effort has been made to mask the object of the study and usually do not have any structure. It is usually conducted by highly trained interviewers mostly the people with depth knowledge of human psychology. Interviewer gets respondents talking about the subject getting the respondents to the topic from time to time because sometimes this discussion may leads to some other uh, subject or some other topic that will encourage to talking as freely as possible. Some skill and experience to interpret the result is but obvious interviewer must be imaginative and thorough in probing the leads provided by the respondent. However, interpretation is equally subjective has to use the knowledge of human behavior to discover attitude about the subject. The second technique in this case is a focus group interviews in which instead of interviewing a one individual at a time we are interviewing a groups at a time. It is again conducted by the hi uh, highly trained interviewers mostly the people with the depth knowledge of human psychology. It had an advantage of cost of obtaining the information on number of respondents and stimulation had advantage of again it may have some disadvantage of a group domination because there may be one or few individuals who may be dominating the whole discussion. Interpretations are equally subjective. So, skills and experience to interpret the result is but obvious interviewer must be imaginative and thorough in probing the leads provided by the respondents. He has to his use the knowledge of human behavior to discover attitude about the subject. Major tool of marketing research especially in exploratory research. Uh, so, based on this two method we can draw the conclusion about the non disguise and non structure technique that is although it may be very popular provide a leads to the human behavior thinking and attitude but it is generally used for exploratory studies not fit for mathematical or statistical analysis. Now, let us move on to the next method that is disguised and non structured method. In this case we will study some of the test which has been used very commonly for this purpose to start with we will start with the word association test. Here the respondents are presented with number of words may be the combination of stimulating and neutral words. Respondents are asked to give the first word that comes to their mind and should not be asked to write the answer. With this particular association of word respondents may indicate some of their attitudes related to the subject which will reveal the inner feelings of the respondents. Responses have to be timed so that these responses given by the respondent should be reasoned out can be identified. It is again a added advantage of easy to construct and administer this particular method, but again we need to have some skill and experience to interpret the results. For example, we can see that if you want to explore some details about milk as a product or object, we can use this type of test like milk gives or milk a first choice of a milk test excellent with. So, depending upon the idea of the respondent say will try to associate one or two words with this type of uh, words that has been given over here. The another method is a sentence completion test respondents are presented with the number of incomplete sentences respondents are asked to complete the sentence with an idea that first comes to their mind and again as like a word association test we are not asking respondent to write the answer. With this association respondents may indicate some of their attitudinal element related to the subject which will reveal some information about the respondents feeling about that particular subject. They are not as disguised as 
the word association test. Responses again in this case have to be timed out because the respondents uh, reasons out has to be identified. Again this particular test is having advantage of easy to construct and easy to administer. But at the same time we need to have a good skills and experience to interpret the results based on the responses given by the respondent. To quote some of the example we can see that we are designing this test to know about the readers. Here the first statement is that the reader of economic times is. So, depending upon the idea of the respondents he will respond to this particular sentence likewise. The second uh, sentence you can see in this case is a Femina magazine appeals to. So, again depending upon his idea he will try to complete this statement. The third statement you can see that is Patanjali products are most liked by. So, depending upon the idea of the respondent, respondent will try to complete these statements uh, based on his own idea. The third type of test we can use for this purpose is story completion test. Again in this particular test the respondents are presented with a part of the story which will be enough to explore the issue, but not enough to judge the ending. It is a quite a versatile and has numerous application in the field of attitude measurement skills. Respondents give conclusion in their own words may indicate some image related to the subject and reveal their inner feelings. For example, in marketing science this is highly useful in determining desirable characteristics a product and a services to have. Again it has advantage of easy to construct and administer. Also we need to have a skill and experience to interpret the results. I have just given one particular example of this particular story completion test. I frame one small story where respondent has to complete the next part of the story based on certain questions. The sto story goes like this, Mr. Seluker a small businessman having a furniture shop in suburb of Mumbai received a sales call from ABC insurance company. A branch manager of the company Mr. Nayak explained the details of the general insurance policy over a phone and also asked for an appointment to have a face to face interaction. The manager also shared the list of satisfied customers of the company from the same locality and assured that all the services will be provided at doorstep. Now based on this story we have framed two questions. The question number one is this that is what will be Mr. Seluker's reaction. Second what does Mr. Selu, why does Mr. Seluker react in such a way. So based on these two questions we can know that what is his attitude about the whole situation if anybody confront to. Uh, now we will also see some of the measurement scales and also the properties of the measurement scale which is being used for attitude measurement. So, we will based on the properties of the measurement scale again we have the different categorization like nominal scale, interval scale, ordinal scale and the ratio scale. So, we will firstly start with the nominal scale. The nominal scale in this objects are assigned are mutually exclusive. It may be having no relationship among the categories that is no ranking, ordering or spacing is implied. For example, if you are taking the data related to geographic location, gender, religion are generally nominally scaled. In this scale only arithmetic operation can be performed. Then the next scale in this case is a ordinal scale where we are arranging the objects in the order with regard to some parameters. It provides data on a difference between the objects on these parameters. Since amount of difference in the objects are not known, only arithmetic operation can be done such as median and mode. For example, in a survey respondents are asked to risk, uh, rank 5 different destination in terms of cleanliness. The destination that is Chandigarh in our survey is ranked as follows by the respondents. 
So, there are some 800 total respondents out of which highest ranking has been given by 350 respondents, 150 uh, given the second rank, 250 respondent given the third rank and 50 respondent given the lowest rank. So, based on this we can judge that where they put Chandigarh as a city in terms of uh, the cleanliness. The second, uh, the third characteristics in this case may be uh, in the form of interval scales, where we rank the objects and representing the equal increments of parameters being majors. This means, a difference can be compared, a difference between 2 and 3 is same as 3 and 4. The location of 0 point is not fixed, denote absence of said parameter entire range of statistical operation can be used. For example, chances of selection of the brand on a scale with 8 categories, which is labeled from 1 to 8. So, people with score 1 and 3 differed by the same degree with the score that is 6 and 8. Then the third type of, uh, fourth type of scale in this case is a ratio scale, a special kind of interval scale has a meaningful 0 such as the scale of market share, weight and saving. It is possible to say how many times an object is greater or lesser than any particular object. It permits us to make a comparison of absolute amount. For example, a person's saving of rupees 40,000 is twice the saving of rupees 20,000 done by some any other person. So, that is what is the example of the ratio scale. 